What's up, everybody? So, boys, we're back with Hubris Lucane. We're running some Relentless Hunter Futures Market, and we're gonna be going Hubris. Gonna be probably full clearing down. They have a pretty squishy bot lane as for Annie. They do have my arch nemesis, the Poppy Bungle. Probably the hardest kind of game in the game, but. Why not dodge the support starter player? Well, see, this is a challenge. And see, we've made it all the way to Diamond 4, playing Blue Cane only. We're almost Diamond 3. And um, we, we don't dodge any games. So I have been trolled, I have been inted, I have been griefed. It's all about, as you can see. It's a little bit more uh, more losses than I thought because a lot of people actually int in Emerald, believe it or not. I didn't know that. But um, thankfully, we're in Diamond now, so we can probably just ease our way and like Master GM and then real battle begins. But anyway, let's get into the video. So we are going to be going Hubris. As you guys can see, we are not running usual Treasure Hunter and Cosmic Insight. We're running Futures Market and Relentless Hunter. That way, we're not going to be missing out on the MS. You normally would get from Yumus. And with Hubris, we're going to be getting a lot more abilities, a lot more damage, and more damage equals faster clear speed. Faster clear speed equals more CS. And I know K mains love their CS. So a lot of K mains, I think their biggest issue with the Yumus Axe and Grudge build. One, it's very limiting. So your second item, you can't really get Serpents, and you can't really get Edge of Night, because you, you get no abilities, right? It's a little bit too punishing in that regard. And then, um, you don't have as much damage. You scale through how you play the map, really, but you're kind of missing that extra damage that I think a lot of Kane mains really go to have. So this is a great build that I'm sure a lot of Kane mains out there will enjoy a lot. Let's get it done, boys. Alrighty. I'm gonna be doing a full clear down. If you guys haven't already, you can check out my pathing guide. It goes over when to do each path, why to do each path, and how to do each path. Well, pathing guide I made. That makes this path and put it out if you're curious. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you could uh, type Karis my pathing guide. You'll find it. I'm sure. But I made it, I think, a week ago, so it's very relevant. It's very. Uh, what would I call it? Fresh. There's basically everything. Okay, so our second to last camp here. We're going to be looking for bot lane, and we're going to be seeing if we can maybe find a gank here. Nice job. I was gonna say, she's gonna go put a ward, so for me to just walk in. Oh, good. You just look for the bot scuttle. A little bit dangerous territory here, because Poppy could be hiding that bush, but a little rule of thumb for all my junglers if they're not in your scuttle, they're at the opposite scuttle. Okay, so we could maybe loop back around here behind him. A guaranteed anti flash. I probably should run away with them. Okay. I don't want to stick around bot side for too long because otherwise, Poppy will just spawn camp my prompt and take that. I'm gonna be a little bit late here. Hopefully, I don't lose it. This might have probably will. Oh, I put all that pressure in the bot lane and they both died. Oh, that's Diamond. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, though. Don't worry, my job is to carry this elo, not to judge it. Well, I mean, I silently judge it. Not so silently, actually. I just said it out loud, but, like, you know, not typing in game. Do I like for a play in top here? I wouldn't say yes. Teemo has a lot of mobility, and uh, we don't really have that much damage. Alrighty.
Oh, I actually did lose my Rapture, so she did stick around for a pretty long time there. Um, I don't think she's on Dragon. I, I was just kind of like thinking that she might be around this area. Yeah, I can maybe just do the Dragon to be honest. Not bad, not bad. It's a really good Dragon take by the way. don't have any uh, smite though, kind of dangerous. It's the only thing I'd say is a little bit problematic, but if I put this controller down, then they're not gonna know the exact HP. Any attempt of a steal, like very difficult for them. Very unreliable bot lane they're getting for them. They don't really play it that too that good. I have to actually find success in top or mid. Our mid's like doing fine, so that's not a bad idea. Unfortunately, the scuttle RNG is not on their side. Yeah, I do want to play for Valen here, but just kind of look at what they're giving me to work with. Not really anything, right? So, if that's the case, honestly, it, it might not be a bad idea to pivot or play style into something different. Definitely unideal, but you gotta adapt, you know? That's what I, I always try to teach people is that a lot of being a good player, or being a great player, I should say. Just learning to adapt to understanding, hey, I can't do anything down here, so let me go try something mid or top. And if you can't do anything anywhere, well then, probably have my luck. <laughs> and that's where you just farm up. Farm up and try to end the sidelines, etc. Pretty sure the scuttle's gone, but yeah, only that bad. I'm gonna grow up here as well. I have numbers advantage up here. I think she'll have smite, but. Try to ping Riven to come. I mean, we have like number advantage, right? That's, took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it it worked. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing that I always try and preach as well. Is that the way that you find success is not just setting your team up. Setting your team up consistently. So like if I'm consistently setting my team up for success, eventually they're gonna find it, right? Like if I'm just like over and over, like like that play, Way and Riven, if they moved immediately, we kill them all. But if I could like stall out as long as possible and like just play it as well as I can, like you know, in the TF I'll be avoiding dying to Poppy, make sure she's not getting wall banks and then you know, he has no items, so I'm not that worried about him. It's pretty easy to kind of like force them into my hand, right? As soon as they like came into my hand, then that's where I was like, okay, now, no, my team, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer. They're forced to make that play because their laner is missing for so long and they're getting picked so much. It's like, they have to move. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes they don't. Like, I get it. Sometimes they just 100% don't. And when that happens, I just like sigh to myself. I die and I'm like, okay, well, let me try playing somewhere else, you know? But fortunately, my team did move. Very you mean? W song. That song is a W song. I don't really need to worry about that last grip, by the way. I'm not playing for grip at all. I'm playing for dragons. Of course. It's a 20 account EU DM. Come back yet? <laughs> Ew. Fortunately not. Alright, I could reset here, get another component, and then maybe look for the uh, bottom player. Warhammer. Warhammy. Why not get your blue and drop there instead of heading for bot camps? Oh, just because I was worried about maybe getting invaded there. I do stuff like that because I'm just so used to playing in Chow where if you like leave one side, like this side, I, I, I feel like it makes sense in my brain for Poppy to want to play bot side because bot skittle was on. So I want to make sure I don't lose my raptors there. And then I go back after top to just farm that stuff. And then I wind up going bot again so I can actually play through bot. So you always want to like wind up where you want to play for. So like if I'm going to you know, play for bot lane, I'm going to save a camp over there or something, right? Okay, I mean, that's fun. Be able to get this, right? Oh, uh, I actually just lost. Wait, why is it not let me click? Lost all my HP. Remember how I said like constantly setting your team up for success, etc., etc., all that jazz? Well, keep in mind that I also mentioned earlier 
And when you realize that you can't play off a lane, you don't try to play off that lane. And that's what I realized about my bot lane. So, I'm gonna ignore them until I'm really ahead, and it's like, I can just kill them both on my own, you know what I mean? Come for Krebs, because Krebs, right now, are just super low value. Uh, no way she did that. That's not even worth. What is it if Fue dies too? Not even worth? I guess. I got my item, I got a little warps. Creating one for one is always chill as Kane. Always some chill. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna farm all my camps. A little farm heavy. Wait, oh my god, I've never seen this before. This Poppy has more camps farmed than Kane. Okay, quick question to all my viewers. Why is this a bad thing? Anyone know why this is a bad thing? Actually, I'm curious. Does anyone know why this is a bad thing? Well, um... Just in case nobody knows, I'll give you an ex explanation. I don't really expect that many people to know, come to think of it. The reason why Poppy shouldn't farm as much of a cane is because Poppy doesn't scale. And if all you're doing is farming in the early game, your laners are going to get out-pressured by the enemy jung. And if you're getting out-pressured by the enemy jung, and your laners aren't scaling, then you're going to ultimately attribute nothing. You only want to farm a lot on champions that have solid or really good scaling. That's why like champions like Evelyn AFK farm or Karthus or, you know, Kane. Kane is really good scaling. But Kane doesn't scale in like a late game way, he scales in a snowball-y fashion. Poppy doesn't have any sort of like actual relevance. You know, past just being like a CC stick, right? Like just hard CCing, whoever. So, her having a lot of farm is very irrelevant. And also the thing is, is that when I do ultimately get my form, which you get me right now, I'm gonna wind up farming way faster than her and I'm gonna be wind up like having a lot more, um, what's the word? A lot more CS, a lot more control, and a lot more snowball. And because she didn't get her laners ahead to really prepare for the, uh, uh the, um, pain scaling, it's gonna be pretty devastating for the. And the thing is, is that another thing that kind of like implements the idea behind playing specific type of like farm heavy champs is that most farm heavy champs have very good player speed and very good mobility around the map. Poppy does not. <laughs> it's very slow around the map. Pretty low MS. That shit is her W, but I mean, I compare that to any other farming champ. They just one shot camps and move on. It's uh, pretty counterintuitive to try and AFK farm on a champ like that. I get doing a full clear. Like, doing a full clear isn't necessarily AFK farming. Sometimes a lot of junglers actually do that in this meta, but. I play an Edge and I game, and this is kind of like the luxury that I was talking about with the uh, Hubris Rush, is that you can kind of choose whatever second item you want, there's no limitation towards what second item you want, you're getting. So the uh, point click Annie CC, and the point click the FCC, and the point click Poppy CC. Edge and I is just the best item here, by far. It's not even close, even though it's a little bit of a suboptimal item. I don't know why I call it a weapon. Never called it a weapon before, but... Yes, there's a first for everything. I could look for the seal on this, but the thing is that they do have two point click CC. I'll just lock me, lock me down. Yeah, it's good to just give. I mean, it's it's a pretty big like hide sink for them, and you can see that I'm like getting my CS up now. Oh, remember how I mentioned that whole AFK farm thingy? Because like one AP at 50 minutes. Yeah, I want you to keep in mind for the end of the game. I'm gonna look back on how much CS we both have. I'll show you why it's like non-factor. I try and play for bot lane, even though they've given me nothing to ever believe that I should play for them. No. I really do want to because their enemy bot lane is so free to kill, but I, I need to wait till they're more like out in the open. I'll wait till the map is a little bit more open. And they're not in bot lane. Their bot lane, that is. I mean, I'm not really trying to play my team. Sometimes you just don't have that synergy. Always good first item? Oh, yeah, that's why I went first item. Of course. 
Gotta look for this if Ruby just wants to jump on him. Nice. Good. That's good. I would love to kill this guy mid, but let's see. Oh. Hopefully no flash on me. That's too dangerous. I should be in those positions. And he's gonna be running bot right now, and Ezreal's pretty low, so I can maybe find myself a kill or two. I do have flash, even though I don't have uh, ulti. I'm gonna enter in with Q and then like save my W as like the uh, capitalist here. By the way, this was Kara Smile. Oh, I wanted me to get the kill. What a nice guy. Hello from Brazil. Oh, what's up, Alparazi? How's it going? Well, let me ask you a question real quick, my boy. What's your thoughts on all, all the NA streamers going to Brazil? Or NA and EU? You have Yamato, Detention, Dantes, um, Arzan, and TF Blade. I think, uh, you think they're going to do good in CB Law? Is that what it's called? CB Law? Be interested to hear from somebody who is in Brazil. I'm probably going to farm uh, the last whisper here while we're at it. So, let's get some last whisper. So this is where like I'd want to use Futures Market. Like just, at this point of the game when I'm snowballing, getting a component like Last Whisper is like a, what, one of the best components of the game. Then also if I ever have like the access to buying a full item earlier, it's a great time to use it. I wanted to like buy it for like random long swords and stuff like that, unless like a really intense buy was about to come up. Oh, that's the best. subs today. I know! What a great day! Big support for the boys! Back to the waste back here. I walk away. Break the wrist, walk away. Break the wrist, walk away. Yeah. I will say I can't snowball too hard because I notice I don't have uh, Axiom. I can maybe have one Axiom, but it's fine. But look at how much faster I clear because the hubris not only does it affect my, uh, all my abilities, but also that Q buff that we just got recently. It was based off your bonus AD, so you're getting a lot more value out of that Q max. People wonder why. Brazil is one of the hardest servers to play. Good luck. Oh. No. Blue invade here. Do you guys remember four minutes ago when Poppy had uh, more CS than me? Oh, I have way more CS than her now. And go blind because the Edge of Knights. Kane's biggest fan. Actually, Rivka, I'm Kane's biggest fan. Alright. Probably go for the dragon here. Gotta make sure I'm holding on to my ulti. We got two picks, so that's pretty good. Maybe look for a kill on the uh, to fader. Like a stellar idea to me, boys. Stellar. I'm not gonna go for the blue. I'm just gonna go for the drag. Oh, it's good to prioritize objectives. Going for the blue is a little bit ambitious. All hands on deck. The Valyria. How's it going? Soup. We're gonna be able to get our last whisper now. You know what you're gonna notice about every elo is every elo types a lot. The only time people stop typing a lot is when you like unironically reach challenger. Even in like master PM people gap a lot. Kinda funny because this game is all about like 
communication and like teamwork, but the only like in high elo, people like barely ever type each other. They just like ping and they type some timers, that's it. Yet it's like the most like coordinated and like best elo. Because like a lot of what's typed in game is like useless typing, you know what I mean? For fun typing. Alright, let's get our uh wrist mark to get here. This Ezra is a Mulgy Bob. Mulgy Bob Square Pants. Okay, I'm glad she didn't steal that. I would have been very sad. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't want to get chain CC there. That's why I just ulted there. Looks like this guy's just like soft and I had a feeling it's gonna hop the wall. ADC should never be inside lane if you wonder why I'm taking CS. A lot of people always say that ADC should never be inside lane. That, if, if you're an ADC in the sideline, you're gonna have what happened to uh, that Ezreal. How about you? Oh, this is like the third game that someone just blatantly inted or ran down a game. You know, people say Emerald's one of the worst helos. Unironically, I think Low Diamond is probably way worse than Emerald. I've had three people AFK games out of four games I've played, guys. Four games I've played today. Three people have AFK on the enemy team. And it's not just because of like me, like obviously people would be like, oh, well, you're playing, playing against the Smurf. No, like I, I barely even did anything in like games. Like this one, yeah, I'm kind of popping off. But the other games, no, like not even. What was it like five minutes? What could one man, what can one cane do at five minutes into a game? You know what I mean? I gotta say, like, dude, I think, uh, I think Emerald's not as bad as people think it is. I think Low Diamond is actually worse. Emerald was pretty bad. I, I've been into it a couple times, as you can see, from my win loss and well, L's there. But like, dude, this is way worse. I'm I'm just fortunate. I'm getting the odd enters on my team. Like randomly, I'm getting the teammates that are like, oh no, we can still win from behind. It's pretty cool. But like, Jesus, dude. There's our bananas in the brain. We're all banana and no donk. Uh, holy group. I really do want to get an Axiom Mark. Look at how important it is to like have like a low old CD into their team. If I can just one shot, boom, 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 boom. No? And set them to like boom, 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 no? boom. Oh, no, 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 I will say Axiomark is amazing here, but I think Edge of Night's better second. I'm playing stupid. I shouldn't have done that. That was my fault. We actually might lose. Don't let them get that. Vision, let me see the bot. Yeah, see, the thing is, is that even though this game looks like it's over because Ezreal's tilted, it's actually far from over because Ezreal's way ahead of things, like way ahead. Two levels, 60 gold, everything. Like, he decides a group, it's pretty over, but vibe it. Pretty insane, I wouldn't want to deny this, I'm not gonna lie to you. But luckily, being insane, every cane mains passion. Fortunately for me. Dude, did I miss my Q and my W there? There, hit that one. There's such a tiny hitbox. Alright, we get Dragon Soul.
I'm not just gonna get Axiom Gold here, I'm also gonna get, um... Split, Ionian Gold. I wanna have my Tier 2 boots so I can move around the map, because I need to play side and I need to play group because of the Ezreal. Like, Ezreal seems like he's trolling, but I guarantee he's still trying to win. Players do this all the time. The game is never over till it's over, genuinely. A lot of people will act like the game's over and they're gonna act like they're not trying to win, but they're always gonna try to win. But he just hit the bullion. Make them just hate their life. I guarantee he's probably shooting blue right now, if I had to guess. Unfortunately for me, it actually takes him a long time to do that, so. Stupid, silly self. Probably gonna get caught out and die here. If I'm correct, let's see. Oh, he's, I'm not. Never mind. I do none of that. Oh, I love Edge Knight. Oh, I can just kill this guy. Okay, we can do Baron now. Ooh. Okay, Fred, keep me sustained pretty well. And get this tier 2 tower. Now, there's actually a very funky bug that is very horrendous, and I'm sure a lot of you inmates have probably witnessed it. If I use my W when taking this tower, I'm only going to get half the gold, so I'm not going to throw my W out. It's pretty lame, I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, there, someone come. Yep, that's okay. I don't need to push in too much. If I get blue, I could probably uh, stay on the map longer. I should look to take their blue instead, though, not my blue. That way I can take their blue, wait out the full duration, and then get my blue. What did he tell? Because he immediately backed up before I even like went over the wall there. I actually snuck an extra auto over that wall there. That's funny. Gold. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I could paint that pretty well, so I was, I was pretty confident with using that. <laughs> and let's look at our AD. Oh, look at the juicy AD. 420, baby. <laughs> right, let's form all of our camps to probably get um, well, like a GA here, right? Okay, it's just a good safety net. I mean, I could get more damage. I could. But I think with this much, uh, much damage, it should look to be a little bit more, a bit more careful. We got GA. And the lovely Futures Market coming in handy once again. I love Futures Market with this setup. So we could legit get over 580 if I if I went an item that wasn't GA. But even if I still get stacks with uh, Hebrews, I can get over 580. I mean, Elixir of Wrath, too. We usually get over 580 with this build. And you, look at all the armor pen, and look at the Lethality, and then also the safety net of having an Edge Knight. Pretty damn good, right? Is, what is diamond elo, man? What is diamond elo? Oh, remember, guys? Okay, at 14 minutes, Poppy had more CS than me. You guys ready to check who has more CS now? At 14 minutes, Poppy had more CS than me, right? Let's see. So I have double her CS. At double the time, double the CS. That's why I don't AFK farm a champ like Poppy. Hope that uh, you guys learned something from that. Now, us all five man grouping on a wave like this is pretty silly without a Baron. Either we should split, or we should, um, I don't know. Yeah, Riven might be throwing, because that's kind of deep. He did get the tower, though, so I mean, that's, that's actually not bad. He actually did a good job to get the tower there. Not bad at all. All right, we can probably kill. Let's go get some kills here. They don't see me because, um, oh, I tried to hit TF with that W. Rolling! Ow, love it. Oh, I missed. I was hoping he would take me over to TF and I can come with W and kill him. 
Ugh. I have negative money, so I can work it. Oh, there it is, boys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out, YouTube. Let me know what you think about the hubris building. Pretty spicy and dicey. A GG WP. Hey, let me finish inside the TF. No! Alright, GG's. Peace out, YouTube. Drop a like, sub, peace.